we all got two minds. How we see them seeing us, how we see our own self, but how they see you take over on the inside. And when you look in the mirror, you only see what they tell you you is. A black rat son of a bitch. Stand up. No, don't put your face in my shoulder. Because don't want to have to take my arms around, okay? Wait. Right. No, no, move your lips away from mine. Just try to stand. Good. Miss Dalton. Miss Dalton. Miss Dalton. Dead. Dead. And I killed her. And I killed her. A rich, white girl. I am a murderer. A negro murderer. A black murderer. They, they will kill me. me.
This is how Bigger was born. Mary! Oh, he should. 
Since he's working for us, maybe bigger things will happen for him. Something bigger. Do you? She gonna make me lose this job. Leave him alone, Mary. All right, madam capitalist. Isn't she a capitalist? Mary, please, he doesn't even know what a capitalist is. Forgive her, Bigger. Bigger? What a name. Hello, Mr. Bigger. Daddy, daddy, mommy, kiss. My daughter. I'm sure you've seen her on the newsreels, running off with that communist. Papa Dalton denounces Jan Arlone, a known communist. A communist? No, man. Oh, well, my husband and relief say you live at 3721 South Indiana with your brother, sister, and mother. You listening to your mother, huh? And remember, you got to see the Daltons at 5.30 for that show for job. Stay off him. You shut your mouth, buddy. Oh, you know, when your daddy was your age, Here we go. he took three jobs to support us all. Where daddy now? Buddy, but he already 20. When you gonna become a man? He been a man. That's it, buddy. Go pick me a switch. Wait, it's 15 degrees outside. It's Chicago. Go. A beer. Honey, go practice your summer. You gonna talk to him about throwing that dead rat at me? Girl. Don't you suck your teeth at me, girl. You're just the most no countess man I ever seen in all my life. Even when the relief offers you a job, you won't take it till they threaten to cut off our food or starve us. For Christ's sakes! Oh, you don't like me saying it? You could get out. We could go on living in one room just like we do it right now, even when you're gone. Go live with that no good gang of yours. Man, son, you got to stop being upset about your father. My husband's father passed down the Southside Real Estate Company to him, and so 3721, where you live, is our property. Dalton Realty, home of kings. Yes, sir. And we are supporters of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Did you ever hear of that organization? Negro leaders ain't worth it. Don't say it. No, ma'am. The real uh, relief people said that, um, like most black boys, you were in reform school and always in trouble. My husband was a boy once. We think we can understand these things. He even was in such a place once. Well, not quite. A boarding school. Yes. My naughty husband snuck off to an anti-lynching rally down at Bughouse Square. His father followed him and dragged him out of there so fast he was on the next train out of Union Station. Yes. His father never thought he would give away his millions to every Negro organization he could find. Yes, that boarding school sure did shake him up. We are more alike than it seems, Trigger. <laughs> uh, uh, thank, thank you, ma'am. Now, why did they send you to reform school? They, they said I was stealing, but I wasn't. Are you sure? They say you can drive a car, but if you steal... The only stealing you should be doing is for the Lord, better. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal oh, no, ma'am. Just like I told Mr. Dog, I don't steal. Let's clean out old Blum's deli later. You planning mischief this early in the day? What is he, an old lady? And Blum keep a gun, suppose he beat us to it. But you scared because he's a white man? I mean, the hell I'm scared. Ain't you supposed to be dawn later this afternoon? We'll do it before then. Look, between three and four, ain't nobody in the store but the old man. One of us will stay outside and keep watch. One of us will go inside and throw the gun on old Blum. I thought we said we wasn't ever going to use a gun. Didn't Look, can't you see? This is something big. And they can't see us doing something like that. But we can do it. Gus said he'd meet us too. Big Gus coming? If us niggas ain't scared. Yes. 
say that again. Not simply that ball game, but God damn it. Shh. He's scared you'll have a good job. <laughs> I told you I'd take the goddamn job. Good, then. I'll have my husband give you the job. Yes, sir. You'll also have to tend the furnace. Oh, goodness, you must be parched. The kitchen is straight ahead. Thank you, ma'am. You must be thinking I know exactly where you're standing. Yes. I think you'll find a glass just to your right. Yes. It's true what they say about us blind. The other senses do become sharper. My frivolous, youthful taunting during Prohibition with some bad rock gut replaced my perfect eyes for perfect ears. Uh, ma'am? I was a naughty girl who drank even naughtier liquor, and now my eyes are for naughty. Yes. Oh. If I could see your face, I imagine you handsome, tall, black like night. Do you wear glasses, son? No, ma'am. Ah, oh, perfect vision. I reckon so, ma'am. Just like a pilot. Man. Oh, yes. To be able to fly, one must be able to see, boy. Man, I could fly. White folks don't let us do nothing. You say that like you're just finding that out. <laughs> say, I heard Trader Owens on at the Regal. I mean, why don't white folks let us fly planes or run ships? That movie about that white girl raised by Africans? Why they make us live in one corner of the city? A white girl? Raised by Africans. I wish, I wish someday there'd be a black man who could whip the black people into a, a tight band and together we could, could uh, make a stand against them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. She even wear a bowling cloth. Forget about me. God damn it, listen! Quit thinking about it, you'll go nuts. Bigger, picture it! A loincloth. You know where they live. You ought to live in the back room above the kitchen. Right down here with the stomach. Like fire. Did you ever fire a furnace before, son? No, ma'am. My husband will show you. I love the roar of the fire. I hear everything. For instance, you finished your glass. Please, pour yourself another. Thank you, ma'am. How far did you go in school? To the eighth grade, ma'am. I, I never finished school. I couldn't see myself going back there after how I lost my eyes. Now, you've met my Mary? Yes. Her hair I've never seen. My husband assured me when she was maturing that her hair color was just like mine. Not that fire red, like his side of the family. That means something? To see yourself reflected in another human being, even if it's only in your mind, is everything. In life, do you understand, son? Why is that cat looking at me like that? Yeah. <sighs> cat! No, Whitey! I'm watching you, Whitey. Oh, other than Whitey's mischief, nothing ever happens around here. Man, nothing ever happens around here. Ooh, let's play white. Oh, hell, not again. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. J.P. Morgan speaking. Nigga, you nuts. Nigga, I said, this is Mr. J.P. Morgan speaking. All right, I'll play. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Morgan. Now, I want you to sell 20,000 shares of U.S. Steel because <laughs> I have all the money in the world. Yes, sir, Mr. Morgan. Woo! General. Lord, today? This is the President of the United States speaking. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Now, the niggas is raising sand all over the country. Mm -hmm. Attack them. We got to do something about these black folks. Oh, if it's about the niggas, I'll be right there, Mr. President. Left leg, march! Ha, ha, ha.
there, white folks don't let us do nothing. It's nothing to learn the furnace. Our last boy learned to tend fire easily. Ours is a self-feeder. Your biggest trouble will be taking out the ashes and sweeping where it gets cold upstairs. Can you handle that? Yes. Good. And you'll do all the driving for us. Now what kind of car are they going to give me? I hope it's a, a packet of Lincoln or Rolls Royce. At 8.30 tonight, you'll drive my daughter out to the university and wait for her. What? Yes. It's best if you refer to her as Miss... Mary Dalton, daughter of Chicago's Henry Dalton. 4605 Drexel Boulevard. Oh, say, they got a kiss, man, man. That's the daughter of the guy I'm going to see about that job. Ah, I hear a rich white girl go to bed with anything from a poodle on up. You get too much to handle, just let me know. Michael <laughs> Dalton denounces Jan Arlone, a known communist. A communist? Say, what's a communist? I'm sure you've seen on the newsreels my daughter running off with that communist. It's a race of people in Russia, ain't it? Damn if I know. A guy kissing that girl is a communist, and her folks sure didn't like it. Uh, rich folks must not like communists. <laughs> Trader Horn is on. <laughs> Trader Horn presents Savages on the Dark Continent. <laughs> Why don't you watch this She's show? beautiful. Miss Savage is any of the black ones. A she devil. A queen of the jungle. Starring Edwina Booth as the white goddess of paganism in Trader Horn. Work for me. Bigger things will happen. Something bigger. Something bigger. Hey, it's almost three o'clock. Come on. Something bigger. Wake up, bigger. My first job awaits. Blums, we got to go meet Gus. Not sure about this. So. I want you to take me to the loop, but you can forget I said that. Uh, Ma'am. I think I can trust you. After all, I'm on your side. You aren't a tattletale, are you? No, ma'am. Not a tattletale, ma'am. Take the outer drive to 16 Lake Street. I'm going to meet a friend of mine who's also a friend of yours. A friend of mine? Shh. You'll understand it better by by. Isn't there a song like that your people sing? Yes. If anyone should ask you, then I went to the university. See, bigger? Yes. Oh, there he is! Stop the collar! Stop the crap! What you say to me? If you ain't nervous, why you work up about Gus not showing up? Look, you shouldn't even be here. And you made such a big deal. This is grown men's work. You nervous, bigger? Gus is nervous! <laughs> you nervous. We'll do it today, we can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, fool! Stay calm. There you go, bigger. Just like when Ma snapped at you. You are nervous. Hey, turn me loose, bigger. I'm not nervous. Don't be nervous. Mary told me all about you. How are you, bigger? Fine, sir. Come on and shake. Shake his hand, bigger. Go on. Yes, sir. I'm a friend of Mary's. 
Yes, sir. Oh, no, bigger. Don't pull your hand away. Yes, sir. And don't say sir to me. I'll call you bigger. You'll call me Jan. How's that? It's all right, bigger. Jan means it. What do these people want? <laughs> don't let go. We are officially comrades. Scoot over. Let me drive a while. Don't be scared. I ain't scared. I can't breathe. Don't rob lungs. Don't. Uh, I'll, I'll just get out of the car with you here, son. <laughs> no, sir. And no getting out of the car. Stay in and move over. Mary, come get in the front, too. Bigger, where can we get a good meal on the south side? We want one of those places where colored people eat. Some place that's got some good liquor. Well, there's Ernie's Kitchen Shack at 47th in Indiana. Uh, Bessie will be there. Do they have anything stronger than beer there? Uh, yes, like a fifth of rum. Mary, aren't you still hungover from last night? And I can handle a bit more tonight. Packing my trunk and leaving for Detroit early in the morning. It's my last night to be decadent. So. Be decadent. Want some bigger? Ah, damn these damn people. Go on, there's plenty. <laughs> you aren't scared. <laughs> it's just liquor. You ain't scared? Yeah. Don't do it. Offer them a game, call it a day, don't rob blooms. What you kick me for? Dumb, because Gus late. He ain't late. Shut up, buddy. He is late. What is it? Oh, it's ten, ten minutes to three. I'm not a fool, buddy. I'm leave him alone. Coward. Lick it. Hey. Lick it, I hey, say. I'm sorry, Gus is late. Put that switchblade away. Oh, you think I'm finished? Hey, I'm sorry, Gus is late. Ain't you scared of me? Shut your mouth. Lick it, God damn it. Lick it. Please, okay, I'll see you. I'm the coward. Please don't hurt me. Sit it down. Don't hurt me. Put you pull down. a knife on me! Oh, 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 I'll kill you! Wait. Look at you. Cry baby ass. Shut up. Black bastard. You're going to hell! Scared. <laughs> Scared! He drinks like a fish. Like a fish. <laughs> Mary, make that fish face. Only if you make yours first. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How I want to see how your people live. I've been to England, France, and Mexico, but I don't know how people live ten blocks from me. Were you born in one of those houses? Born in Mississippi. Once I saw a couple and their three young children in one of those houses, unclothed. Oh, my. <laughs> yes, my curiosity about Negroes has been aroused ever since. They're human, after all. All 12 million of them. Are you living nearby with your mother, brother, and sister? Yes. Where's your father? Dead! Dead. Of course he is. Now, how was he killed? Mary. How did he die? He was killed in the riot when I was a kid. Kid? How old? Eight. How do you feel about it? I don't know if he did. I got to get out Calm down. Light a fan. Put it up. In my pocket. Up a rack. Put it there before Ma said Gracie was it after I beat the crack out of the butt. Light it up. My hands are trembling. I killed a white woman. A black people killed me. What am I going to say to you? I could say uh, I driven Mary home and left her at the side door. But what about the communists? Uh, Jan would say he left us together at 46 in college. But I would tell them it was not true. Because it's not my word as good as his. Yes. After all, isn't Jan a red? And that's what we communists are fighting. So he is a red. Hey, don't you think we could stop things like what happened to your father? I don't know him. We 
And there's a lot of white people in the world. <laughs> Slow the liquor, boy. Like those Scottsboro boys. Don't you think we did a good job in keeping them from killing them? I'd rather die than what they got. Don't say it. <coughs> say, isn't it glorious tonight? God, yes. This is a beautiful world, Bigger. Mm. After the revolution, it'll be ours. And then there'll be no rich, no poor, no white, and no Negro. Dan, do you know many Negroes? I don't know any very well. But you'll meet them when you join the party. Glorious. All right. I've got some pamphlets I want to share with you. Please, read them. Please. We'd like to be friends of yours. I'll read them. After all, you're fighting for him. His people. Yeah. The Negroes. They have so much emotion. And their souls. Say, bigger. Can you sing? I can sing. Are we almost there? Uh, end of the next block. <laughs> swing low, sweet chariot. Come to carry me home. Come on, bigger. You'll get used to us. Help us sing. I can't sing. Swing low. Sweet chariot, come and further carry me home. We seem strange to you, don't we think? Oh no. Come and further carry me home. I'd say I carried them home. And that Jan didn't leave us at 46th Street. He rode home with us. Jan had come to the house. Mary asked me to leave the car on the driveway and go to her with her room to her room to get the trunk. And Jan was with us. And I got the trunk and took it to the basement. And after I'd gone, I'd left Mary and Jan sitting in the car. Kissing! Because Reds do anything. You Make them think Jan did. Make them think Jan did. My husband just got a wire from Detroit saying Mary never got there. What happened? You left the car in the driveway? Uh, yes, Miss Dalton told me to leave it. Mary told you to leave the car? Yes. And you took the trunk to the station this morning, didn't you? Yes. Better go to the station and pick up her trunk then? Yes. She took you to her room to get the trunk? Yes. And make them think Jan did. They went up. They? Someone was with her. Yes, I'm a gentleman. A gentleman? Yes, I'm a gentleman. And what did this gentleman say to you? Relax, boy. I ain't the police, just a dick. So. Uh, Private investigator my husband has hired. Easy, Mr. Britton. This boy is trying to make a new start. They're all just niggers to me, ma'am. I'll debrief Mr. Dalton when I'm done here. Thank you, Mr. Britton. Now! Spit it out, boy. He talked about the communists. I knew it. Did he ask you to join? He just told me that someday there'd be no more poor folks and no more rich folks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this jam sounds like my old lady. <laughs> yeah. Now, black people will have a chance. A chance? What could a Negro possibly do? Keep talking, boy. That there'd be no more lynch. Hmm. Genius putting that in your head. Aaron, what was the girl saying? She agreed with him. Did this fellow Jan say he'd let you meet some white women if you joined the Reds? No, sir. Now, after you left the restaurant and drove around the park, did Jan lay the girl? Did Jan lay the girl? It was back there kissing it going on. So they were drunk one day. Yes, sir. They've been drinking. A lot. Bravo. Now. How drunk was Miss Dalton? I saw you last night at Ernie's with your drunk white friends. Oh, Bessie, they weren't my friends. I worked for them. Oh, and you drink liquor and eat chicken with them, hmm? Thought maybe you were ashamed of me getting my after work drink in my dirty work clothes. 
Just come from cleaning my white woman's house and you sitting there with that crazy white girl all dressed in silk and satin. You ain't even speak to me. Well, now I did. I've been thinking hard about you, been missing you. Oh, you just growled and waved your hand. Too busy looking at that white girl batting the eyes at you, I reckon. My hair wasn't pressed, but I still smell clean. You don't love me no more. Hello, Joe. Lord, bitch, where, where you get this money from? You ain't gotten enough to this year. Would you go kiss me now, honey? You gonna buy me something? She only wants to get drunk. You love me. Sure. Mm. Well, Bigger, where you get this money from? What? It wouldn't matter. Mm. You smell good. Like gin and bleach. Get close to me. say about the party? Sir? Uh, come on, boy. Don't stop. Where Tell me what he said this? about the party. It wasn't no party. Miss E. Ball Chicken told me to sit at his table and eat. <laughs> what unit are you in? Sir? Now, uh, come on, comrade. Aren't you a communist? No, oh, sir. You got me wrong. I ain't never fooled around with them folks. Now, Mr. J and his dog was the, was the first ones I ever met, so help me God. You are a communist, you goddamn black, black son of a bitch. What's up with that white girl? No, now, come here, girl. Oh, you just can't treat me in your kind of way, nigga, Tom. Oh, hell, I can't. Need her, sweet talker. You chin take my flags. Put her in the trunk. Yes, she is small. Put her in the trunk. Well, go on. Touch her. Oh, what if she screams? You scared of a dead woman? Trembling, sweating, breathing hard like a sissy. Well, I ain't no sissy. I killed the bitch, didn't I? Then get it done. Save your life. That's too much. Too heavy.
说。三爷，说。也死了。Sending letters for ransom. Ransom? Yeah. What's, What's wrong? wrong with you? Tell the truth. We Weren't you and Miss Dalton drunk? We just had a little drink. Where is she? If she's not in Detroit, then I don't know where she is. Brought her home about two. Yeah. We told the boy to take the truck down to the basement. Say, what is this? Where's their daughter, Mr. Erlong? She was drunk last night when you brought her here. I... I didn't come here last night. You didn't tell the boy to take the truck down. Hell no! Who says I did? I left the car and took a trolley home. Where's Mary? I don't know where she is. You ain't acting right. You heard that girl? Oh. Then where is she? Huh? She in the hospital? <laughs> oh, so the daddy's little ran off with that car here? I don't know. You heard her. I didn't. You did. I didn't. What's happened to you, baby? Was she dead? Hey, don't you trust me, baby? Where's that girl? I don't know. You hurt her. You, you hurt me. Tell her. Bonnie and Clyde, Leopold and Lowe, big and best. Oh, I see it all over you. You don't see me. Oh, no, I see you. And I smell you, too. But look at the girl. Okay. First time I ever did something. Uh, Tell her. Damn, they killed nobody. Oh, I ain't say you did. But you just did. Where the hell is that white girl, Big Up? We're waiting for you to tell us. Did, didn't she go to Detroit? No. Baker, why did you tell these people I came here? Don't answer. Leave them alone. Come on, or alone. You've been lying ever since you've been here. Where's Miss Dalton? Is this a game? Listen. Mr. Alone. Mary's the only child they got. Tell her to come back, or you bring her back. The Daltons will make it all right with you. How much money can they pay you? Pay? Yeah. You son of a bitch, tell me! Oh my god, damn it! Look, I killed the white girl, okay? Oh. Well, let me know. Okay. But you got to help me. Oh, for Christ's sake! Don't be afraid of me! Don't be afraid Don't be afraid of me. I'm not gonna hurt you. What's all this about, nigger? I haven't done anything to you, have I? Where's Mary? Keep walking. I told you to go away. But listen, if these people are bothering you, don't just tell me. Don't be scared. Let's go somewhere, get a cup of coffee, and talk this thing over. Go away! But bigger, what have I done to you? <laughs> For God's sakes, man, don't don't shoot. I, I haven't done anything to you. I, I haven't bothered you. Don't leave me alone! Oh, please, bigger. I, I don't want to help you. Don't make me do it. The catchers, God knows they will. You can't leave her behind and sniff. You got to help me. God damn it, look at me! Catch him? I see inside your dark, beady eyes still. I say to myself, be with him. He's good. Look, I got a plan, Miss. I tell you about my baby. Well, you go hide out one of them abandoned buildings. How he like a nip from my class. They, uh, they go drop the money. How I pick him up that day. And you wait for something. And he ain't free. And you grab the money. I told you that. And you can hide out. I wish I'd never met you. I wish we both died before we was born. Where's that goddamn class? You think that I will know. You know what? You won't kill her. Say, I won't kill her. Yeah. I won't kill her. See, yeah, I want you to put. I want you to put. In that. No, not I. Wait. Wait, we, we. Want you to put? That's better. Uh, we got your daughter. She is safe. She wants to come home. Don't go to the police if 
You want your daughter back safe. No. If you want your daughter back alive, put 10,000 yeah. put five and 10 bills in a, a shoebox. That's good. Do what this letter say, or. Or. Get the sign with the other hand so they don't know. Yeah. The old brothers ain't got nothing on them. Yes! <clears throat> Gentlemen, tell the kidnappers to screw your papers. The Daltons will do everything they ask. They'll pay as they've been instructed. They shall not call in the police. Tell them to please return their daughter. Oh, and the signature on the ransom note, it's signed Ray. My 
my God. Wait, let me feel that. Yeah. It's Mary's earring. It's Bone. You stupid. It's the girl. Nick, fly! <laughs> These blankets. We gotta get out of here. Feel good. Check the doors. I feel like I'll never get warm. Go oh, get out. Get closer to me. Keep watch. They're coming. Oh, you're so hot. You got a fever? Just uh, do that button. Hey, 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 don't touch me there. Uh, I have to. Hey, too rough. I can't help it. Please, baby. I can't help it. I'm oh. sorry. I have to. Oh. Help it.
sleep. Can't leave her and I can't take her. I hope she's sleep. Those two bricks when we walked in, where were they? You should have told her. I had. How could I know they was gonna find that white girl's bones so quick? You can't leave her and I can't take her with. from this black beast 
end quote. The chief of police says, quote, God and Mother Nature are on our side. Since all the roads are blocked from this record-breaking snowfall, the Negro won't get out of this city alive. End quote. <laughs> I know you are all mad like a white heat, but the mayor insists no mob violence. I repeat, no mob violence. Trust our guys to do their jobs. The police are going to search every Negro home until we get the black bastards. Damn it, the police are going to mobs. I don't believe it. What, what kind of mess would that boy get into in less than 12 hours? I, I, I didn't raise no murderer, no killer, no rapist. My papers say I don't give a damn what the papers say. That is not my son. Police are not yet satisfied with Erlone's account of himself and suspect he is linked with the Negro as an accomplice. They feel that the plan of the murder and kidnapping was too, too elaborate to be the work of a Negro mind. Oh, Jan didn't have a damn thing to do with it. I did it. Like I did it. This stupid, dumb like Negro did it. Impossible. You're a dumb cluck. Well, I did it. I did it. I did it. Hey, I did it. hey. What's the paper say? They went from 18th to 28th Street. I'm on 53rd. That means about tonight they'll be almost here. Need a flat for rent sign. There's no for rent signs for blocks. Like the mice to make me go out for two months for us for a place to live. And by the time I found us when the agent says, can't, can't stay, stay here. here. What do you so mean I can't, can't stay, stay here? Can't stay here. This building is too dangerous for habitation and is officially being condemned. Well, where are we supposed to go? Can't stay here. We at the Southside Realty Company will be sure to find you another home further west. But that's where all them gangs are. I pay twice as much money as anybody living on the other side of the line. Can't stay here sleeping in a bed with roaches and rats besides my own. I thought as well just laid out somewhere and die. Lord knows this life doesn't beat me up enough. Well, the damn Lord put us out in the street. Stop that cry. Please. 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 Please don't throw my babies out on the street! With, With the, the roaches, roaches and rats! <laughs> God damn white bitch, who the hell do you think you are? I kill you up! I kill you up! Ha! <laughs> 
about to say he's cold out there, ain't he? Yes, sir. What you want? A loaf of bread. Speak up. A loaf, a loaf of bread. A bread. Five cents. Anything else? No. Sir. No, sir. I ain't no work, man, but you will respect me, boy. Sorry. Sir. Sir. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. Thank you. Call again. He ain't know who I was. He ain't know who I was. Nobody do him free. There he is. Stay calm. Don't turn around. Bigger! I don't hate you for trying to blame this thing on me. I'm a white man, and I know it's asking too much for you not to hate me when every white man you see hates you, but I love that girl you killed. I love when I heard that you'd done it. I, I wanted to kill you. But then I thought if I killed, this thing would just go on and on and on. Why did you do it? Why did you kill my Mary? Come on. Let's go somewhere. Grab a cup of coffee. Talk this thing over. Turn around and shake, comrade. Turn around. <laughs> Wait. Don't turn. He, 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 he got a gun. He gonna kill me. He gonna kill me. Turn. Turn? Turn. It's just Jamie. Just Jamie. Just Jamie. Where'd you go? Jamie was smoke up ahead. It's a warm inside. A room in the rig. Poof. Second floor. There's the window. Nudge. Crawl inside. One is on your path. One of flies. Step aside and let us pass, bigger. Black. Black. 
always keep your eyes Correct. down in the dirt, bigger. Fear the police. When I speak to you, bigger. Black rat. And never, ever, ever. See me, bigger? Put your arms around me, bigger? Kiss me, bigger? Make love to me, nigger? Quiet, 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 quiet. Ma, I got to go after all the white people. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. Hush your mouth. The Lord is your father. Steal away. Steal away. Steal away to Jesus. Steal away. Steal away.
Let you feel what you want to feel. I mean, they after you so hot and hard. You only feel what they're doing to you. They let God kill you before you die. No, you ain't a man no more. I didn't, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I knew what I was doing, but I, it's like I couldn't help nothing. It's like somebody stepped in my skin and started acting for me. Like my mind, ain't my mind like my body is their body and it's say, do, be, whatever they say I do. I know I killed because that white lady, she was killing me. She was killing me. Kill me. How do men do it? She ain't that rat with the bed. I ain't that rat I killed. Now I see. See, after I killed that white lady, there wasn't no sense of being scared no more. I was free. Ooh, I was free. Free, 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 free. 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 If it wasn't doing me, Through the 
tell you you is a black rat son of a bitch. No. We all got two minds. How we see them seeing us, how we see our own self, but how they see you take over on the inside. And when you look in the mirror, you only see what they tell you you is, a black rat son of a bitch. Oh, 
rooms is Mr. and Mrs. Dalton's room. God damn. Try to stand up. Stand. Good. Oh, no, please. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Tell you is a black rat son of a bitch. Dead. Dead. And I killed her. And I killed her. A rich white girl. I am a murderer. A Negro murderer. A black murderer. They will kill me. Kill me. me. This is how big it is for. Oh, I sure can fool. 
fly. Control tower requesting clearance for landing. Over. This is Control Tower. Land your full ass down with that pool table over. Oh, goddamn you, buddy. I could, you know. I could fly. Yeah, you wasn't black. And if you had some money, and if they let you go to that aviation school, you could fly planes. It's too damn early in the day to dream. Don't you want that? Your shoot. Solid, solid. Seven enough fights to our folks, but you can learn to be a, a Negro judge. Strike, corner. That's dumb. What's well, not dumb? You also got a knack for numbers. You can uh, run numbers. No, something better. Something better. Yeah, right. Say, ain't you going over to the Daltons later for that chauffeur job? Ooh, I'm gonna be driving a Cadillac or a Dusseldorf. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I get. Now you're really done. Buddy. What? Easy. Your shoot. You talk like you don't want that show for job. Oh, 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 I want it. It just seemed like well, they own the world. They own the world. The daughters of the rich. <laughs> These debutantes represent over four billion dollars of America's wealth. Yeah, I sure wish I had my Bessie with me now. You take that chauffeur job, you can get you a better girl than Bessie. Oh, she better than what you ain't got. She a drunk. Why are your eyes closed? You at it again? I'm polishing my nightstick. Yeah, they own everything, but I own something too. I'll beat you. You won't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I win. No, I'm, 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 I'm going to. You pull off fast. Guys, that white girl on the newsreel is a hot looking number. Yeah, what white girl? A father! That white girl. Perhaps. I'm giving him a second interview now. What do you want, Mary? Will Daddy get the tickets for Orchestra Hall? Yes. Now run along. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Mary, why are you so close to the boy? You belong to a union. Mary! Well, Mother, he should. Since he's working for us, maybe bigger things will happen for him. Something bigger. Do you? Well, she gonna make me lose this job. Leave him alone, Mary. Right, Madam Capitalist. Isn't she a capitalist? Mary, please. He doesn't even know what a capitalist is. Forgive her, Bigger. Bigger? What a name. Toodaloo, Mr. Bigger. Buddy, dirty mommy. Kiss. My daughter. I'm sure you've seen her on the newsreels, running off with that communist. Papa Dalton denounces Jan alone. A known communist. A communist? No, ma'am. Oh. Uh, my husband and Relief say you live at 3721 South Indiana with your brother, sister, and mother. Are you listening to your mother? And remember, you got to meet the Dalton's at 5.30 for that chauffeur job. Well, lay off him. Oh, you shut up your mouth. Oh, well, uh, Bigger, when your daddy was your age, Here we he go. took three jobs to support us. And where's daddy now? Hey, hey buddy. You're already 20 now. When are you going to become a man? He's been a man. That's it, buddy. You go pick me a switch. It's 15 degrees outside. It's Chicago. Go. Uh, there, honey, uh, uh, go practice your sewing. You gonna talk to him about throwing that dead girl. rat? Don't you suck your teeth at me, girl. Becca, you just no countless man I've ever seen in all my life. Even when a relief offers you a job, you won't take it till they threaten to cut off our food or starve us. Chris, six. what, you don't like me saying it? You could get out. We can live in one room just like we live in now, even with you gone. Don't live with that no good gang of yours. You got to be a man now. 
now, son. You got to stop being upset about your father. My husband's father passed down the Southside Real Estate Company to him, and so 3721, where you live, is our property. Dalton Realty, home of kings. Yes, sir. And we are supporters of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Did you ever hear of that organization? Negro leaders ain't worth it. Don't say it. No man. Well, the relief people said, like most black boys, you were in reform school and always in trouble. My husband was a boy once. We think we can understand these things. He even was in such a place once. Well, not quite. A boarding school. Yes, sir. My naughty husband snuck off to an anti-lynching rally down at Bughouse Square. His father followed him and dragged him out of there so fast he was on the next train out of Union Station. Yes, sir. His father never thought he would give away his millions to every Negro organization he could find. Yes, that boarding school sure did shape him up. We are more alike than it seems, Bigger. Gesundheit. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Now, um, why did they send you to reform school? Well, they said I was stealing, <laughs> but, but I wasn't. Are you sure? They say you can drive a car, but <laughs> if you steal... The yeah. only stealing you should be doing is for the Lord, Bigger. Steal away. Steal away, steal away to Jesus. Oh, no, man. Just like I told Mr. Dog, I don't steal. Let's clean out old Blum's deli later. You planning mischief this early in the day? What is he? No lady. And Blum keep a gun, suppose he beat us to it. You scared he's a white man? But the hell I'm scared! Ain't you supposed to be Dalton this afternoon? We didn't do it before then. Look between three and four, ain't nobody in the store but the old man. man. One, one of us will stay outside and keep watch. watch. One of us will go inside and throw a gun on the road. I thought we said we wasn't ever going to use a gun. God damn it, look, can't you see? This is something big. Nate can't see us doing something like that. But we can do it. And Gus said he'd meet us too. Gus coming? Yeah, that fuss niggas ain't seen. Meet here at three. Well, goddamn it, say something. Buddy, you scared. If you scared, I'm gonna say yeah. You say that again, and I sink that ball in your goddamn throat. Easy. <clears throat> you scared, you're gonna have to do the job. Ah! I told you I'm not taking the goddamn job. Good then. I'll have my husband give you the job. Yes, sir. You'll also have to tend the furnace. Oh, goodness. You must be parched. The kitchen is straight ahead. Yes, sir. You must be thinking, I know exactly where you're standing. Yes, sir. I think you'll find a glass just to your right. Yes, sir. It's true what they say about us blind. The other senses do become sharper. My frivolous, youthful taunting during Prohibition was some bad rot gut replaced my perfect eyes for perfect ears. A man? I was a naughty girl who drank even naughtier liquor, and now my eyes are for naught. Yes. Oh, if I could see your face, I imagine you. Handsome, tall, black like night. Do you wear glasses, son? No, ma'am. Oh, well, perfect vision. I, mean, I reckon so, ma'am. Just like a pilot. Uh, ma'am. Oh, yes. To be able to fly, one must be able to see, boy. Man, I can fly. White folks don't let us do nothing. You say that like you're just finding that out. Same. I heard Trader Horn's on at the Regal. I mean, why don't white folks let us uh, fly planes and run ships? 
That uh, movie about that white girl raised by Africans? Why didn't make us live in one corner of the city? A white girl raised by Africans? See, I wish. See, I wish someday there'd be a black man who could whip the black people into a tight band, and together we could, could, uh... Make a stand against them? Yeah. Yeah, right. She even wear a loincloth. Forget about him. God damn it. Listen! Quit thinking about it, you're going nuts. You got a picture in A loincloth. You know where they live? You already live in the back room above the kitchen. Right down here in my stomach. Like fire. Did you ever fire a furnace before, son? No, ma'am. My husband will show you. I love the roar of a fire. I hear everything. For instance, you finished your drink. Please pour yourself another. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, how far did you go in school? <coughs> To the eighth grade, ma'am. I never finished school. I couldn't see myself going back there after how I lost my eyes. Now you've met my Mary. Yes. Her hair, I've never seen. My husband assured me when she was maturing that her hair color was just like mine, not that fire red like his side of the family. That means something. To see yourself reflected in another human being even if it's only in your mind, is everything in life. Do you understand, son? Why is that cat looking at me like that? <laughs> cat! No, Whitey. Oh, forgive him. I'm watching you, Whitey. Other than Whitey's mischief, nothing ever happens around here. And that never happens around here. Let's play white. Oh, hell, not again. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. J.P. Morgan speaking. Nigga, you nuts. Nigga, I said, this is Mr. J.P. Morgan speaking. All right, I'll play. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Morgan. Now, I want you to sell 20,000 shares of U.S. Steel because, <laughs> well, I have all the money in the world. Yes, sir, Mr. Morgan. Woo, general. Today? This is the President of the United States. Yes, people. sir, Mr. President. Now, the niggers is raising sand all over the country. Attack them. We got to do something about these black folks. Oh, if it's about the niggers, I'll be right there, Mr. President. Left leg, march. And that girl was a communist, and her folks sure didn't like it. Yeah, well, rich folks must not like communists. <laughs> Trader Horn is on. Trader Horn presents Savages on the Dark Continent. Uh, <coughs> I know you watch this stuff. Usual. This dog? Savage as any of the black ones. A she-devil. A queen of the jungle. Here's the best part. Starring Edwina Booth as the white goddess of paganism in <laughs> Trader Horn. Work for me. Bigger things will happen. Something bigger. Something 
big. Oh, it's almost three o'clock. Come on. Something. Yeah. Wake up, Bigger. My first job away is blondes. We gotta go meet Gus. Not sure about this. Let's go. Called adrenaline kid. Gus niggas missed that blonde job. I'll fix him so well. Word is, ain't nobody got more guts than Gus. Shut your trap and break it before I tell my you. I'm 16 and a half. You wet behind the ears. Say, uh, I bet you two bitch you can't make it. You were the law. And the bastard oughtn't be late. I hear he always shows up minutes before the job. You sure we I ain't no goddamn kid! Gus Slate, because he's nervous. <laughs> Maybe you are. I make you nervous, nigga? Here. Go, man. University. I want you to take me to the loop, but you can forget I said that. A oh, man. I think I can trust you. You're all I'm on your side. You aren't a tattletale, are you? No, ma'am. Not a tattletale, ma'am. Take the outer drive to 16 Lake Street. I'm going to meet a friend of mine who's also a friend of yours. A friend of mine? Shh. <laughs> You'll understand it better by. Isn't there a song like that your people sing? Yes. If anyone should ask you, then I went to the university. See, Baker? Yes. Oh, well, there he is! Stop the car! Stop the crap! What you say to me? If you ain't nervous, why are you worried about Gus not showing up? Look, you shouldn't be here. You made such a big deal. This is long man's work. You nervous, Baker? Gus nervous! Look, you nervous. We'll I'll do it today, we can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, fool. Stay calm. There you go, bigger. Just like when Ma snap at you. You are nervous. I can play. Turn the loose, bigger! I'm not nervous. Don't be nervous. Mary's told me all about you. How are you, bigger? Fine, sir. Come on and shake. Shake his hand, bigger. Go on. Yes, sir. I'm a friend of Mary's. Yes, sir. Oh, no, bigger. Don't let go. Yes, sir. And don't call me sir. I'll call you Baker, and you'll call me Jan. How's that? It's all right, Baker. Jan means it. What do these people want? Don't pull your hand away. We are officially comrades. Scoot over. Let me try for a while. Don't be scared. I ain't scared. Okay, breathe. Don't rob balloons. Don't. I'll, I'll just get out the car and wait for you to sir. No, sir. <laughs> no getting out of the car. Stay in and move over. Mary, come get in the front, too. Move over, Bigger. Right between me and Jan. A Bigger sandwich. Say, I've never been this close to a Negro before. I can smell a head. Feel a thigh. Bigger, where can we get a good meal on the south side? You want one of those places where colored people eat. Some place has got some good liquor. Well, well, there's Ernie's Kitchen Shack at 47th in Indiana. Well, Bessie will be there. Do they have anything stronger than beer there? Yes, like a fifth of rum. Well, Mary, aren't you still hungover from last night? And I can handle a bit more tonight. Packing my trunk and leaving for Detroit early in the morning. It's my last night to be decadent. So be decadent. Want some bigger? God damn these damn people. <laughs> Go on, there's plenty. You aren't scared. <laughs> it's just liquor. You're scared? Don't do it. All from a game, call it a day. Don't rob thumbs. <laughs> ah, what you kick me for? 
done with this Gus Flake. He ain't late. Shut up, buddy. He is late. It's, it's ten minutes to three. I'm not a fool, buddy. I'll leave him alone. Coward. Wait. I'm sorry, Gus is late. Put that switchblade away. Are you sure you think I'm late? Sorry, Gus is late. Ain't you scared him enough? Shut your mouth. Lick it, back. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Put the coward. Okay. Sim it down. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. You go. Ah! A knife on me? Go tell you! Oh, look at you. Cry baby ass. Shut up. Black bastard. Oh, hell. Scared. <laughs> Scared. He drinks like a fish. Like a fish. <laughs> Mary, make that fish face. Only if you make yours first. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, how I want to see how your people live. I've been to England, France, and Mexico, but I don't know how people live ten blocks from me. Were you born in one of those houses? Born in Mississippi. Well, once I saw a couple and their three young children in one of those houses, unclothed. Oh, my. <laughs> yes, my curiosity about Negroes has been aroused ever since. They're human, after all. All twelve million of them. Figure, you live nearby with your mother, brother, and sister? Yes, sir. Where's your father? Dave! Dave. Of course he is. Now, how was he killed? Mary. How did he die? He was killed in the riot when I was a kid. A kid? How old? Eight. How do you feel about it? I don't know what he did. He did. She's, 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 she's dead? Dead. They will kill you. Calm down. Light a fact. Put it up. In my upper pocket. Right. Put it there before Mom said grace. Or was it after I beat the crap out of butt? Light me up. My hands are trembling. The white woman. The black they will kill you. What am I going to say to him? Uh, I could say I driven Mary home and left her at the side door. Yeah, but what about the communist? Jan would say he left us together at 46 and Cottage. But I would tell them it was not true. It's not my word as good as his. Yes. After all, isn't Jan a red? And that's what we communists are fighting. So he is a red. Don't you think we could stop things like what happened to your father? I don't know him. There's a lot of white people in the world. Slow the liquor, boy. Like those Scottsboro boys. Don't you think we did a good job in keeping them from killing them? I'd rather have died than what they got. Don't say that. <coughs> say, isn't it glorious tonight? God, yes. This is a beautiful world, Bigger. After the revolution, it'll be ours. And then, there'll be no rich, and no poor, no white, and no Negro. Tim, do you know many Negroes? I don't know any very well. But you'll meet them when you join the party. Glorious. I, I, I've got some pamphlets I'd like to share with you. Please, read them, please. We'd like to be friends of yours. Well, he'll read them. After all, you're fighting for him. These people, the Negroes, they have so much emotion and their songs. Say, Bigger, can you sing? No, I can't sing. Are we almost there? End of the next block. Swing low, sweet chariot. Comfort and carry me home. Come on, Bigger, you'll get used to us. <laughs> Help us sing. Yeah, I can't sing. Swing, Swing low, sweet chariot. Comfort and carry me home. We seem strange to you, don't we, Bigger? Oh, no. Come and bird carry me home. I'd say I carried them home. And that Jan didn't leave us at 46th Street. He rode home with us. Mm, Jan had come to the house. Mary asked me to leave the car in the driveway and go with her to her room to get the trunk. Jan was with us, and I got the trunk, 
took it to the basement. And after I'd gone, I'd left Mary and Jan sitting in the car kissing. Does Reds do anything? I mean, didn't they make you say so? Make them think Jan did it. Make them think Jan did it. My husband just got a wire from Detroit saying Mary never got there. What happened? You left the car in the driveway? Yes, sir. Miss Dalton told me to leave it. Mary told you to leave the car? Yes, sir. And you took the trunk to the station this morning, didn't you? Yes, Well, you'd better go to the station then and pick up her trunk. Yes, She took you to her room to get the trunk? Yes, sir. Make them think Jan. They were not. They? Someone was with her? Yes, sir. A gentleman. A gentleman? Yes, sir. A gentleman. And what did this gentleman say to you? Relax, boy. I ain't the police. Just a dick. Uh, sir? A, a private investigator my husband has hired. Easy, Mr. Britton. This <laughs> boy is trying to get a new start. They're all just niggers to me, ma'am. I'll debrief Mr. Dalton when I'm done here. Thank you, Mr. Britt. Now! Spit it out, boy. He, uh, he talked about the communists. I knew it. Did he ask you to join? told me that someday there'd be no more poor folks and no more rich folks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this jam sounds like my old lady. <laughs> yeah. That a black man would have a chance. A chance? What could a Negro possibly do? Keep talking, boy. There'd be no more lynchings. Mm, genius putting that in your head. And uh, what was the girl saying? She agreed with him. Did this fellow jam Tell you he'd let you meet some white women if you join the Reds? No, sir. And after you left the restaurant and drove around the park, did Jan lay the girl? Did Jan lay the girl? I don't know, sir. They was back there kissing and going on. Oh, they were drunk, weren't they? Yes, sir. They've been drinking. Mm. A lot. Bravo. Now, how drunk was Miss Dalton? I saw you last night at Ernie's with your drunk white friends. Oh, Bessie, they wasn't my friends. I work for them. Oh, and you eat chicken and drink rum, boy. Thought so maybe you were ashamed of me getting my after work drink in my dirty work clothes. Just come from cleaning my white woman's house, and you sitting there with that crazy white girl all dressed in silk and satin. You ain't even speak to me. Oh, now I did. And I've been thinking hard about you. Been missing you. Oh, you just growled and waved your hand. Too busy looking at that white girl batting her eyes at you, I reckon. My hair wasn't pressed, but I still smell clean. You don't love me no more. Well, I don't. Lord, bigger! Where you get this money from? You ain't got nothing, nothing is you? But you gonna kiss me now, honey? Put her in the trunk. Yes, put her in the trunk. 
She is small. Now go on. Touch her. What if she screams? Oh. Scared of a dead woman. Trembling, sweating, breathing hard like a sissy. Oh, ain't no sissy. I killed the bitch, didn't I? Get it done. Save your life. Much too heavy. I, I could. I mean, I mean, I could put her in the furnace. Yes, put her in the furnace. I will burn her. Nothing left behind. Good thing. Put the trunk away first. Push it hard. Harder. 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 Just had a little to drink. Where is she? If she's not in Detroit, then I don't know where she is. You brought her home about two? Yeah. You told the boy to take the trunk down to the basement. Say, what is this? Where's their daughter, Mr. Erlone? She was drunk last night when you brought her here. I, I didn't come here last night. You didn't tell the boy to take the trunk down. Hell no! Who says I did? I left the car and took a trolley home. Where's Mary? I don't know where she is. You ain't asking her. You heard that girl? No. Then where is she? She in the hospital? Stole her daddy's loot, ran off with that communist one. I don't know. You heard her. I didn't. You did. I didn't. Then what's happened to you? She dead? Don't you trust me? Well, where is that woman? Look, I don't know. You heard her. You heard me. Tell her. Bonnie and Clyde, Leopold and Lowe, big and messy. Oh, I see it all over you. You don't see me. Oh, I see you, and I smell you, too. Look, forget the girl. Can't First you? time I ever did something, tell her. Look, I ain't killed nobody. I ain't say you did, but you just did. Where the hell is that white girl bigger? We're waiting for you to tell us. Didn't she go to Detroit? No. Bigger, why did you tell these people I came here? Don't answer. Leave them alone. Come on, Erlone, you've been lying ever since you've been here. Where's Miss Dalton? This is a game. Listen, Mr. Erlone, Mary's the only child they got. Tell her to come back or you bring her back. The Daltons will make it all right with you. How much money can they pay you? Pay me. You son of a bitch, tell me. Oh, my God damn it!
Wish we both died before we was born. What's that goddamn flask? Let them off. Oh, you what? No. You won't kill her. <laughs> Say I won't kill her. <laughs> I won't kill her. Hey, I want you to put. I want you to put. In doubt. No, not I. We. That's better. We, we want you to put. Uh, we got your daughter. Uh, she is safe. She wants to come home. Uh, don't go to the police if you want your daughter back safe. No. If you want your daughter back alive, I put ten thousand and five and ten bills in a shoebox. Is good. Do what this letter say, or, or, or. I've done it. Don't forget to sign it with the other hand so they don't know. Yeah. Low brothers ain't got nothing on me. Yes, <laughs> gentlemen, tell the kidnappers. Through your papers, the Daltons will do everything they ask. They'll pay as they've been instructed. They shall not call in the police. Tell them to please return their daughter. Oh, and the signature on the ransom note? It's signed red. Come here. Who do you think did it, Mike? My name ain't Mike. Oh, easy, boy. It's just a figure of speech. Uh, yeah, Pat, get off. <laughs> if there's a spook in the room, he's surely the one who did it. Even the cat thinks so. Bigger, there's not enough heat upstairs. You better clean some of the ashes out and make a better fire. Yes, sir. Better do what I say, Bigger. Don't be afraid. Uh, Nobody's going to hurt you. He doesn't know anything. He's a dumb cluck. <laughs> Is that right, boy? Yes, sir. A dumb cluck. Not a dumb cluck. Come on, boy. Think. I got a bird in the spot. Calm down. The old lady over here. Smother us? I can't see. 
The oh, smoke did out my ass. I'm getting them out. Move. You black fool. Hey, here, give me that shovel. I'll help you. I saw you do it. Here, come out. Let go. Let go. Sorry. Go over the front door. I'm choking. There's a hell of a lot of ashes in there, bigger. You shouldn't let it get that way. What's the matter, boy? Nothing. Say, come here. Mrs. Dalton. Oh, that's just some garbage we're burning. It's... My God. You dumb! Wait, let me feel that. It's bone. Stupid! It's Mary Deering! It's the girl! Nigga! Ah! <laughs> I take orders from whites, not you. Oh, you're smart now. Spread them out. Oh. Uh, where's the money? Ninety dollars in my dress pocket. Oh, 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 only ninety. Paid my rent. Bought more liquor. Damn it, bigger! I've just been a fool, just a blind, dumb, drunk black fool following your dumb black ass. There's two bricks in that doorway. <sighs> Snap out of it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. All right. Here, lay down here. I need a drink. You got the bottle? Yeah, it's in my pocket. In my pocket. Oh, you smell good. Check the doors. I feel like I'll never get warm. Well, uh, Get closer to me. Watch. They're coming. Mm. Oh, you're so warm. You got a fever. Just undo that button. Hey, don't touch me there. Uh, oh, I have to. Hey, too rough. I can't help it. 
Let's go find that white girl's bone so quick. I can't leave her, and I can't take her with her. Gentlemen, 
Mayor Dix says, quote, not to worry. The police are armed with rifles and tear gas. I will do my damnedest to protect our maidens from this black beast, end quote. The chief of police says, quote, God and Mother Nature are on our side. Since all the roads are blocked from this record-breaking snowfall, the Negro won't get out this city alive, end quote. I know you are all mad like a white heat, but the mayor insists no mob violence. I repeat, no mob violence. Trust our guys to do their jobs. The police are going to search every Negro home until we get the black bastard. I don't believe it. What, what kind of mess would that boy get into in less than 12 hours? I, I didn't raise no murderer, no, no killer, no rapist. I don't give a damn what the papers say. not yet satisfied with her loan's account of himself and suspect he is linked with the Negro as an accomplice. They feel that the plan of the murder and kidnapping was too so elaborate to be the work, work of a Negro mind. But Jan didn't have a damn thing to do with it. I did it. No, I did it. This stupid, dumb black Negro did it. Impossible. You're a dumb clock. Well, I did it. I did it. I did it. What's the paper say? They went from 18th to 28th Street. I'm on 53rd. Ooh, that means about tonight, they'll be almost here. Need a flat with a friend sign on. Oh, no for rent signs for blocks. Like when I used to make me go out for two months to look for us one, and when I finally did, the agent says, can't stay here. What you mean I can't, can't stay, stay here? Can't stay here. The building is too dangerous for habitation, and it's officially being condemned. Where are we supposed to go? Can't stay here. We at the Southside Realty Company will be sure to find you another home further west. But that's what all them gangs are. I pay twice as much rent as anybody living on the other side of the line. Takes the hits, sleeping in a bed with roaches, roaches and rats the size of my arms. arms. Maybe I don't just lay out somewhere and die. Lord knows this life doesn't beat me up enough. It was a damn Lord threw us out on the street. Better stop that crying. Please, 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 please don't throw my babies out in the streets with, with the, the roaches and rats. rats. Bitch, who the hell do you think you are? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Ooh. And stay here. Ooh. Ah. Roll. 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 Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Baby, this is gonna be like, be like food. Oh. Got to uh. eat now. It's a bakery across the line on the white side, right over there. How much I got? Seven cents. What if the white owner know me? Negro grocery up ahead. Five cents a loaf. Why, store? It's only four cents a loaf. Damn! 
Can't go in the white store, can't cross the line. But it's just a store, I gotta cross the line. Nah, I'd not go in. Oh, I got to, I'm starving. Now swallow that hunger and keep moving. Go on out there, ain't it? Uh, What's the matter, you deep? I say you're cold out there, ain't it? Uh, yes, sir. What you want? A loaf of bread. <coughs> Speak up. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. Five cents, anything else? No. Sir! No, sir! See, I ain't no white man, but you will respect me, boy. Sorry, sir. Sir. Sorry, sir. sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Call again. He ain't know who I was. Who he ain't know who I was? Who nobody doing free? There it is. Stay calm. Don't turn around. Bigger. I don't hate you for trying to blame this thing on me. I'm a white man and I know it's asking too much for you not to hate me when every white man you see hates you, but I love that girl you killed. I love her. When I heard that you'd done it, I, I wanted to kill you. But then I, I thought if I killed, then this thing would just go on and on. And Why did you do it? Why did you kill my Mary? Come on, let, let's go somewhere. Go grab a beer, talk this thing over. Turn around and shake, comrade. Turn around. Wait. Don't turn. He, 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 he got a gun. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Turn. Turn? Turn. turn. It's just jam. It's just jam. Just jam. Where'd he go? Chimmy with smoke up ahead. Ooh, that means it's warm inside. There's room in the rear. Move. Second floor. There's the window. Nothing. Crawl inside. Get warm. There's that loaf. Shh. Here's some of it. Now, Jack, you mean to stand there and tell me my husband give up that nigger to the white folk? Damn right I would, Leslie. There's my gun. My coat pop. Bosey ain't you. Shh. What the hell they run off for then? Listen, wife, my boss told me. He said I'd get killed in them streets with the mouth full of among these white folks, so he let me off. That goddamn nigga made me lose my job. If I know what that black son of a bitch was, I'd call the cops and let him come and get me. Oh, well, I wouldn't. I'd die first. Oh, hell, wife, you crazy. No, you crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I love you. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Hey, Jack, what's going on? I got to eat now. Be quiet and keep watch. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, sweet like cake. Want to eat it all? Save some for later. Still hungry. Need a nap. Stay away. Keep listening. You're not alone. Bless my daddy. My dear daddy. He's the nicest daddy. In the world, when we have good weather, we go out in the sun, we play together. We have lots and lots of fun. Bigger. Like, like that, right. You want to be walking down the street when it's on your path? 
You step aside and let us pass, Bigger. Like always, keep your eyes right down in the dirt, Bigger. Fear the police. When I speak to you, Bigger, the black rat. And never, ever, ever. See me, Bigger? Put your arms around me, Bigger. Kiss me, Bigger. Make love to me, Bigger. Quiet, 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 quiet. quiet. I got to go out to all the white people, I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all! Watch your mouth, son. The Lord is your father. Steal away. Steal away. Steal away to Jesus. Steal away. Steal away. Yes, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Now go on. Run! Mr. Houston, run. This is wrong. Run! My people, this is wrong. My people stand up. Someday, maybe. Someday, maybe. Let you feel what you want to feel. They after you so hot and hard, you don't feel what they're doing to you. <laughs> they like God. Kill you before you die. No, you ain't a man no more. I mean, the guy didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I knew what I was doing, but I couldn't help nothing. He was like somebody stepped inside my skin and started acting for me. Like my mind ain't my mind, like my body. It's their body that say, do, be, whatever they say I do. I, I, oh, I killed that white lady because she was killing me. She was killing me. Kill me. Kill me. I ain't mean to do it. I ain't that rat in the bed. I ain't that rat I killed. Now I see. Because after I killed that white lady, but no sense of being scared no more. Because I was free. Free. Ooh, free. Free. What do it mean? There he is! 
Drop him! Fly. 